This is where you rise. This is where you shine. This is where you become the greatest of all time. History in the making. This is history in the making. History in the making. Vote for your life. Tonight, America decides the biggest night in politics. The balance of power is on the line, and we take you to the states everyone is watching. And already tonight, we've got breaking news as Republicans are increasingly optimistic they could take back control of Congress. Our coverage starts right now. This is... Earthquake. Strong shaking expected. In 30 seconds. Drop, cover, and hold on. Earthquake. Earthquake. Strong shaking expected. In 20 seconds. Earthquake. Strong shaking expected. In 10 seconds. Se siente un temblor, se está moviendo el piso. Ustedes ya saben que es alerta sísmica. Alerta sísmica. Alerta sísmica. Alerta sísmica. should be broken up into smaller companies. Just an uh, interruption. We're feeling some shaking in our studio. It is relatively strong. Yep. Uh, it, it does appear that we are either having an earthquake or an aftershock if you are at home. This is duck, a pretty cover, and hold strong on. aftershock. This is, uh, we're, we are experiencing quite a bit of shaking. If you'll mm -hmm. give us a brief moment here, we're mm -hmm. making sure that nothing is going to come down in the yeah. studio here. And it is going for okay. quite a bit of Earthquake. Earthquake. Strong okay. shaking. Strong expected in 11 seconds. 21 here on the air. We're experiencing very strong earthquake. shaking. Earthquake. Strong shaking. Right. Expected right in back. 2 right seconds.住み続ける地球温暖化急性種になるかもしれないのが秋の味覚さつまいも芋を食べたらおならが出やすいですけど中にメタンがあるんです芋はねメタンを作る津波です津波です津波です こちらでは配送手続きのご予約変更を承ったまわっております。お客様の会員番号をお願いいたします。会員番号は01234565ですね。確認いたしました。現在3月25日ご自宅へ配送のご予約をいただいております。それでは3月25日ご自宅へ配
This follows after an undersea volcanic eruption 1,000 miles east of Japan early today. Take a look at this image, which shows spectacular satellite video of gigantic ash clouds and shock waves. A 45-meter tsunami struck Japan as a result of the eruption, the number... following message is transmitted at the request of the Washington State Emergency Operations Center. This is a volcano warning. Mount St. Helens was elevated to code red by the USGS at 2.45 p.m., indicating that a major eruption is underway with significant emission of volcanic ash into the atmosphere. An evacuation order has been issued for all residents living within 500 miles of the volcano. If you are outside the 500-mile radius, seek indoor shelter now. Close all windows, doors, and fireplace or wood stove dampers. You should protect yourself from falling ash that can irritate skin and injure breathing passages, eyes and open wounds. Use a well-fitting, certified face mask, such as an N95. Welcome to Ray News 24. I'm Ailsie Rousseau, and I'm here live on air to bring you this breaking news story. We're seeing layer footage of the erupting Mount Vesuvius, as local officials report pyroclastic flow threatens areas near the volcano. The mayor of Naples has issued an evacuation order. This is a breaking news story. We will provide crucial updates as they become available. Stay tuned to Emergenza civile. Emergenza civile. Si tratta di un avviso di eruzione vulcanica. L'Istituto Nazionale di Geofisica e Vulcanologia ha individuato una supereruzione dei campi Flegei 15, minuti dopo la prima eruzione osservata del Vesuvius. La città di Napoli e i suoi dintorni sono in grave pericolo. I flussi di lava a velocità fino a 48 km h stanno attualmente tutti i percorsi. In il vulcano. Aspettati una forte caduta di cenere. What can we expect to see happen from here? Well, that, that is a very hard question to answer. Uh, it could be that it's a, a big bang and everything settles down. Alternatively, it could be that it precursor to something else, that some continuing eruptions take place. Quite often, uh, eruptions like this are preceded by small ejections of fragmented volcanic material, uh, some a lot of seismic activity, then a big eruption, and then a sequence, if you like, a decay sequence of eruptions that are not as big as the first one. But that's not the universal rule, and we haven't been around long enough to watch how this volcano can behave over the thousands and thousands of years of its construction. So, uh, uh, Casey, I'm, I'm sorry I can't tell you exactly what might happen next. It's because we don't have a long enough record to know. We apologize for the interruption to this broadcast. Normal programming has been suspended. Please stand by for an emergency warning. This is an emergency warning. The current threat level is emergency. 
To assure your survival, you must take immediate action. Geoscience Australia has reported the eruption of Mount Barney, Biwa, Warning, and the Siberian Caldera at around 8.45 a.m. Since this is an inexplicable phenomena, all Australians residing within 1,000 kilometres of the aforementioned volcanoes are advised to evacuate urgently. I repeat, all Australians residing within 1,000 kilometres of the aforementioned volcanoes are advised to evacuate urgently. Volcanoes spew hot, dangerous gases, ash, lava, and rock that are powerfully destructive. Thick ash fall is expected to engulf the whole state of Queensland, New South Wales, and Victoria. Since volcanic ash is a health threat, all Australians outside the 1,000 km zone are advised to seek shelter. Rehydrate, replenish, refuel. Scientifically formulated so you never stop competing. Gatorade. This is CTV News. We are minutes away from the Prime Minister's media briefing as incidents of volcanic eruptions surge throughout the world. The World Health Organization has reported that the global death toll has surpassed 100,000. Scientists around the world are looking for answers since this has never happened before. The United Nations is currently in session to discuss the global impact. The BC Public Alerting System has been activated by the Provincial Government of British Columbia. Event type is volcanic ash and pyroclastic surge. Volcano threat for BC until further notice. The public is expected to stop, listen, and respond as ordered by this emergency warning. Le système d'alerte avant Jésus-Christ public a été activé par le gouvernement provincial de la Colombie-Britannique. Le type d'événement est surge pyroclastique, menace volcanique pour la Colombie-Britannique. Jusqu'à nouvel ordre. On s'attend à ce que le public s'arrête. Écoute et répond comme ordonné par cet avertissement d'urgence. At 3.25 p.m., Environment Canada reported a 6.9 magnitude earthquake in Vancouver, British Columbia. This was followed by a loud explosion sound caused by the eruption of the Mount Meagre Massif. The sonic boom produced by the magnitude of the eruption was estimated to be more than 320 decibels. It was felt and heard in several areas across North America with reports of ruptured eardrums. If you or someone you know has heard the blast, most ruptured eardrums will heal on their own in a few weeks. Please seek medical attention if you have bloody discharge from your ear, intense discomfort, total hearing loss in one ear, or dizziness that causes vomiting. All BC residents are advised to seek shelter as the volcanoes in the Garibaldi volcanic belt is anticipated to emit rocks poisonous gases, and ash that will fall on major cities across the West Coast, Northern Territories, and Prairie Provinces. In an effort to determine what is causing this occurrence, the Canadian government is collaborating with the sign the threat Se enfrentan Jan Lobo contra Emanuel Chang. Preparados. 3, 2, 1. Es el nuevo tobogán del Exodon. Semana número 7. Me encanta esta pista porque tiene ese tramo de ida y vuelta en el agua. Y eso marca diferencia. Alerta sísmica. Alerta sísmica. Este es un mensaje de peligro civil. Advertencia de actividad volcánica. A las 3.40 de la tarde, los volcanes Popocatépetl y Tactuatl entraron en erupción, enviando columnas de ceniza a decenas de kilómetros a la estratosfera y desatendiendo.
generando un flujo piroclástico hacia la Ciudad de México. El nivel de alerta es alarma roja. Evacue de inmediato si reside dentro de un radio de 900 kilómetros de los volcanes Popocatépetl y Tacchuatl. This is a classified encrypted audio file protected under Title 18, Section 798 of the United States Code, Disclosure of Classified Information. Mr. President, we have just learned that nothing can be used to prove this unexplained calamity. The USGS has warned that a global famine is looming and that we should ready ourselves for the worst case scenario. We, as your National Security Council, recommend that the executive branch activate National Response Scenario 9. This secures the continuity of government, the functioning of all three branches, and the future of the country. Mr. President, we have just been informed that the Vales Caldera in New Mexico has also started to erupt. This is a super volcano, sir with big cities such as Portland and Seattle heavily damaged by ash and pyroclastic flow. Mass fear and rioting are expected to break in other major cities, a situation we'd want to avoid. We need control, sir, since we do not have enough time to organize mass evacuation efforts. As Secretary of Homeland Security, I highly recommend that we begin drafting a disaster selection system that will pre-select American individuals of diverse ages, genders, and skilled occupations. SecDef has confirmed that 575 bunkers with a capacity of 5,000 people will be made available as quickly as possible throughout 50 states. While this may backfire, sir, this is the only choice we have. People will rush to the bunkers and compromise the operation if we release this info. Whole Congress has started to evacuate to the bunkers, sir. This is TVNZ News. We are fully aware of the dangers involved but we will continue to deliver the latest news for New Zealanders. The ash from Mount Ruapehu and likely from three other volcanoes are raining down in Auckland as we speak, hindering government evacuation efforts. We still do not know until when this thick and strong ash fall will stop. We are not alone as all- All stations have been asked to cease normal programming in order to broadcast this civil defense message for the National Emergency Management Organization. NEMA has observed hazardous ashfall that is anticipated to fall throughout New Zealand in the coming days. Water has been contaminated as a result of high acid content of erupting submarine volcanoes. Because these hazards constitute a severe threat to your life, all New Zealanders are urged to wear goggles and AN95 mask when outside, to stay indoors, and to boil water before drinking, using for food preparation or cleaning. Mommy, how did it go last night? Oh, darling, aren't you sweet to ask me that? Was it a triumph? Was it Stella? <laughs> well, you know Mummy will always tell you the truth, don't you?
We are taking a brief break from our scheduled programming to bring you an important announcement from His Majesty's Government. Please stand by for further information. This is BBC Television from London. We are suspending our scheduled programming to deliver an emergency message on behalf of His Majesty's Government. My fellow countrymen, we have now felt the destruction wrought by volcanoes all over the globe for two days. We honour and remember the one million dead as our planet is engulfed in complete darkness. Despite the lack of reason for this phenomena, His Majesty's Government has discussed the future actions with the Cabinet and Ministries. It is certain that in the months ahead, much of the volcanic ash will persist in the stratosphere and obscure sunlight, which will lead to crop failure. The outcome would elevate the food chain as a whole, resulting in a global famine. As heated ash clouds have already burned the engines of cars and airplanes, there is just no way out. The government has discontinued emergency services. If conditions permit, an evacuation order will be issued. The armed forces will deploy in the coming days to aid in major evacuations. Everyone is advised to stay home for the time being since it is incredibly dangerous to be outside. May we draw strength from our loved ones during these difficult moments. Our strong bonds must serve as our main line of protection against the unknown. Our nation's resolve to survive cannot be shaken if families stay steadfast and together while providing refuge to others who are living alone and without protection. Let us pray for our country and men of goodwill, wherever they may be, as we battle together to survive. This is France 24, live as we cover this global crisis. The French government has just declared that evacuation attempts have been halted due to the harsh conditions caused by the unexpected eruptions of Puy de Dome and Puy de Sancy. Residents are being warned to remain indoors as enormous ash clouds blanket the globe, resulting in total darkness. Ce message d'alerte publique est diffusé à la demande de la Direction Générale de la Protection Civile et de la Gestion de Crise. Vers 14 h le Commissaire européen à l'énergie a signalé que plus de 300 installations hydroélectriques, biomasse, géothermiques et solaires thermiques étaient tombées en panne. Cela est dû à la combinaison de cendres volcaniques et de poussées pyroclastiques qui causent actuellement des dommages au réseau synchrone de l'Europe continentale. En conséquence, le super réseau européen pourrait tomber en panne à tout moment, provoquant des pannes de courant dans toute l'Europe continentale. Il est recommandé à chacun de prévoir des bougies et ou des lampes à huile à portée de main pour s'éclairer, ne pas utiliser de cuisinière à gaz ou de four pour chauffer sa maison. Pour utiliser un générateur en toute sécurité, si vous en avez un, et pour débrancher vos appareils. The primary entry point EAS system has issued a volcanic winter warning for the continental United States. All broadcast stations and cable systems shall transmit this emergency message. This is not a test. Please stand by. The following message is transmitted at the request of the National Weather Service and the Federal Emergency Management Agency. One week following the volcanic super eruptions, the National Weather Service reported a 20 degree decrease in average global temperatures. Since volcanic ash blocks sunlight, photosynthesis is now considered to be impossible. Acidic rains are expected to damage crops, particularly those necessary to sustain humans and animals. This will eliminate much of the world's animals and trigger a catastrophic famine 
FEMA has estimated that more than 5 billion will die in the next five years due to hunger. Climate disruption and extreme weather are predicted to have an impact on the world. Since no sunlight would reach the Earth's surface, brace for extreme living conditions, regions of the Earth would be rendered uninhabitable. The planet would continually cool in the coming months, ushering in a new ice age. Individuals and communities are anticipated to be isolated as a result of disruptions in public services and mass transportation. The president has imposed martial law in order to avert civic unrest and anarchy. Emergency laws have been enacted. The president has begun evacuation and recovery operations across the nation. Classifying variables will decide access to government bunkers. Please follow the armed forces if they guide you to safety. For the time being, all Americans must remain indoors and stock up on dry meals and canned goods with long shelf life in anticipation for months of crop failure. The United States government wishes you the best. Since the human race is now endangered, the president has signed a bill legalizing a person to end his or her own life. It is your life. You have the right to alleviate suffering and prepare for a dignified death by doing whatever you see necessary within ethical or legal constraints. Weapons approved in assisted suicide include a gun or a knife. If you choose to end your life, the U.S. government wishes you the most peaceful and dignified death conceivable. This is the end of this emergency broadcast. This channel will cease to deliver future emergency alerts. Tune into 162.400, 162.425, and 162.550 MHz to receive emergency-related broadcasts. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. God bless America. Oh,